in Iran, you know, you have moderate reformist forces, but they are constantly capped and stifled by hardliners, okay, and revolutionaries. Now, having another conservative person, you know, at the White House is only going to choke moderates and reformists. Why? Because the behavior, the conservative behavior of the United States only emboldens the hardliners and the conservatives in Iran. So, you know, you have you have two conservatives attacking each other and, and any moderate reformist, you know, force is is therefore sidelined, right? So that's why, you know, the last four years have been even further dismal. But at the same time, Iranians, unfortunately, any chance or, or any moment that they they gather themselves to come to the streets, whether it was 2009, you know, the green movement that we saw, or whether it was, you know, the events of the last two years, um, you know, the protests, the mass protests, they were stifled, they were choked. Again, Iran has an incredibly powerful um, intelligence apparatus, uh, you know, military, and, and, you know, people can't bring that change yeah. as sort of the classic, you know, way that we've been seeing in the Arab Spring, you know, in different countries. And mind you that, you know, again, you know, in the countries that we saw the Arab Spring, it's not that, you know, their situation is any better right now. So again, different discussion we can we can we can discuss for hours. But the point is, um, I want to answer your question and, and that was fundamentally part of the the sort of um, uh, mission of the book to 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 tell to to allow Americans to see how people are different from the government that they are different than the, that their government but but in lieu of them being able to you know to bring immediate change how are they living what are they struggling from what do they day-to-day -day lives look like how are they being affected by the policies of their own regime but how are they being affected by the policies from abroad how do they maneuver between the you know this this thug of war and um and and yes um within those differences these people are still living and quite frankly while many are surviving, especially, you know, with the last few years, economically, Iran has been going through so many challenges, um, but some have, have had success stories. And I, and I explored how, you know, what were the challenges and where do they want to go next? Mm -hmm.